Hello, YouTube. Uh, got some good news. We got in our nano VNA analyzer. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why do we need one of those? Well, actually, you know, you, you could probably do, most people are just going to use a regular SWR meter, and they can uh, check their SWRs that way just fine. Um, I kind of like this, this analyzer, because I can enter in a start frequency and a stop frequency, and it will check the whole band of the GMRS channels. It will check, we'll, we'll check them all, and you'll get like a little graph. And I'm going to show you here why I kind of like this. Now, I do have hooked up, what you can't see, it's off camera, uh, it's a magnetic mount, a mobile antenna, I have it on a, on a cookie sheet. Um, I don't know how I got this antenna, it was in a box of stuff I bought, I don't know, years ago. Uh, my first thought it was a CB antenna, it is not. Um, after further inspection, it is a business band antenna. I, I, it was uh, 406 megahertz through something, I can't remember what it was. So, it's not tuned for the GMRS frequencies, um, which you'll see here, you'll see this in a minute, which is kind of neat. Uh, if you look at this, hopefully you can see this okay. If you look at this, you can see here, there is, I have a start and stop, I have a start frequency, I have a stop frequency. Let me get my pointer here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, so now if you look at this, you can um, see here the start frequency and the stop frequency. And I have it scanning the, all the bands. And then it tells me up here what the SWR is at a certain frequency. So if I move this marker over, which I'll do here in a second, I'm going to kind of show you how I hope I can kind of do this. I apologize for. Not the best video here, but I will move this marker. See that marker? Now, if I stop right there, it's gonna. T I stop at this frequency, and the SWR is 1.6. Not not real good. Um, but if I adjust the marker again, see, watch. If I go, come on, focus. See how it changes the frequency, and then it tells you the SWR. And I got a program to do the whole band. You can see where you know this graph kind of shows you. Um, that's kind of nice about this that you're able to do that. There's, this has a lot of functions, and I'll do more videos as time goes on. You can also hook this up to a laptop and get readings that way. And there's software you can use so you have a bigger screen. Um, I've been playing with that software. And it seems to be okay. The only thing that I don't like about it. Now maybe there's a, a button that I have to press or something. You have to start the scan and then stop it. Do your adjustments on your antenna and then restart the scan. Um, it doesn't, do, doesn't update live, I guess what I'm trying to say. Compared to the Nano itself, it does update live. As you saw, I can move that marker, and it will tell me exactly. If I go and, like, if I go and touch this antenna, or let me let me try something here. You probably can't see this, but I'm gonna try to touch the antenna, and you can see the SWRs. Let's see if we can zoom in on here. Uh, I don't know if we're able to or not, but we're going to try here. And the green tape that you see, that's so that on my table here, that's so that you can, I can kind of, I can keep within the camera view. That's why I marked green tape on here. Let's see if we can prop this up here. Like I said, I apologize for, I don't know if you're going to really see a lot. Maybe if I turn this light off here. There we go. That's better. 
Hey, that's not so bad. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the antenna. And you can see the SDR bar is going up. Okay? Does it live. I'm touching the antenna. Now, the computer part software, you have to, to see it switch. You have to stop the sweep, then restart it. That's what I've noticed. Now, maybe there's a button I missed or something on there. i I got to play with it more. But I like this. You can see the. So I'm touching the antenna. You can see it just jump up and down. And you can see the SWRs too. If you look right here at the SWR, you can see it jumping. And it affects all the, the, all the bands when I touch it here. Um, so I like this live update. Um, a lot of antennas, you can either adjust them like the mobile or even some base antennas. There's an LRN screw and you can adjust the length that way. Uh, to try to get the SWR that you want. Or um, you can, if there's no adjustment, then you got to cut the antenna. And that's where it gets kind of, uh, you cut a little too much off, then you're kind of, you know, in trouble. Um, but at any rate, I just want to do a quick video of this. Uh, like I say, it's pretty cool. Like I said, I, I, I really like this. There's, this has a whole bunch of functions. I bought this one. And I want to mention this quick before I forget. I bought this overseas. There's a lot of clone models out that are noisy uh, internally. They're not clean um, with the with the the uh, readings and stuff. There's a lot lot lot, lot of lot noise on the uh, on it. That's the thing with clones. So you want to stay away from those. Um, Amazon. And eBay probably have the clones on there from what I've read. So I ordered this one right here from overseas from the actual manufacturer themselves. Again, took about a month. It does not come with the battery. You don't need the battery. You can run it by plugging it in to the USB port and powering it that way. Um, but you have to buy the battery separately because they can't ship it over from overseas with the battery in it. Um, so I, I happen to have a, a, a laptop uh, old battery that I took apart and I was able to take a, a battery out of there. That's how, that's how I did that. But it does not come with the battery. Um, but you can power it with the USB cable. It does come with the USB cable. It comes with a uh, um, whole bunch of other. Let me kind of get one out here. It comes with two straight cables. With SMA ends on them. Comes a this is a touch screen. Let me see if I can show you. See touch screen? Probably not in focus though. Eh, of course not. Um, but anyway, any rate, it's a touch screen, so it comes with the it comes with the pointer. Um, it does also come with the calibration parts. The low, the short, the um, open comes with those. Actually, you get two of the, these cables. You get two of these cables here. So it does come with that. Um, the cable I'm using now, let's zoom this back out here. Zoom, zoom back out here. The cable that I'm using now, I had, I think it, so I'm using this cable with an adapter so I can hook it up to the, the PL5959 uh, connector. So it does not come with that. You have to buy, like I say, it comes with the SMA cables. You have to either buy the adapters or buy a, a whole cable, however way you got to do it. I do have some parts on order yet. Like I said, we're going to be doing that modification to that repeater. So the nice thing about this, I can use this to tune a de duplexer. Yes, I know I'm going to get a ton of comments down below that's going to say, "Oh, that's not accurate. You can't. You need a ten thousand dollar VNA analyzer to tune it, and all this other stuff." And yeah, if you want to get it down to uh, you know perfectness, um, you you know would need a a commercial unit, but this can be used to tune a duplexer. 
Uh, there's some there's some YouTube videos about it. Um, it may not get as low of a DB reading compared to the commercial ones, but it's going to get you pretty close. At least the video I saw. It was pretty amazing what this little piece of equipment can do. Compare, you know, uh, when it's compared to a commercial, you know, eight thousand dollar analyzer. I mean, so. But we'll we'll do some more videos on that as time goes on. Um, any rate, I just want to do this quick video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And please subscribe. And thank you, and have a good day.